Well, I'm down here working in the shop again. This is Greg Malone. Just finished up on this piece. Got a nice little translucent corner in there. Turned out fairly nice. It started out a whole lot bigger, but I was able to whack it down to that side. Just thought I'd show you that. Okay. Next, I'm going to be working on this piece of flint ridge. It's got a nice big old crystal pocket in it there. Knock that off. Got like a freeze crack down in here. But hopefully I can make something decent out of it. So I'm going to try to do this kind of systematically. I've got a nice ridge running down through here. Try to hit this and knock it off. I'll raise my platform. Okay, raised it up from here to here. Now I'm going to hit it. Let's see if I can't drag the flight across. Okay, so that's that hump. That line I kind of moved down with my finger. And I'm going to look at my next flake. I'm going to take this one slow, my friends. Okay, I'm going to attempt to hit here on the end and then drive it down along here, take some of this off. It's going to be kind of a short flake. I have a little bit of concavity right here, so I'm just going to hit it kind of soft. If there is such a thing. I'm working at a really awkward position here. And it hinged a little bit, but I'm not too worried about that. I'm going to be able to knock that off. But what that did was allow me to get at this now. Hit it across there. Okay, I braided this now. I'm going to hit this down, try to drive off this ridge right here. If I can, you know, I don't know the wisdom of hitting that. <sighs> Took a little bit more off. Now I'm going to hit it here and see if I can drive it down. Raise my edge up again. Let's try hitting her now. And it did, it started to hinge out on me. So I'm gonna have to whack this hump off from one side or the other. But I'm getting kind of flat on this side, which is nice. Getting a beautiful turtle back here. <laughs> okay, I've decided to take this plane off right here. Hit it right here in the middle and try to come past the center line. And I only came to here, didn't get to the center line, but I got a lot of this off. Knock this delta off, bring that down. There we go, flatten that right out. I uh, might be able to take something across there. Let's give that a shot. Get this down in here. Once again, got to that spot and it hinged out on me. Not bad, a little tiny step. It's just a little nail catch there, but not what I was shooting for. Okay, I've got to raise this edge up so I can knock this turtle back off. So the only way I can do it, I'm gonna hit it up high here and try to drive this off. I'm not even going to braid this edge because I'm not even going to be hitting down there. I'm going to be hitting up here. I hit where I wanted to, but it didn't do what I wanted it to. Stalled out on me. See, I got a nice little hinge there. Isn't that sweet? I still believe that I can blow that off of there. Kind of choppy and steppy there. Let's see if I can hit her over here now and blow some brighter. Nice and heavy. Yeah, I took off all that choppy, steppy stuff. But I also lost some of my width because I was counting on keeping some of that. Not good. And I got a decent hinge there. Should be able to blow that off though. 
but it did raise my edge up so I can take off this hump here on the opposite side. So let's do some of that. While we have the opportunity. Okay, so that's where I'm gonna hit from. Like a nice platform. Yeah. Let's see if I can take off one of them potato chip flakes that Roy Miller talks about all the time. So there's my hump. And I ran right down through there, took that hump off very, very nicely. So, every once in a while, things go right. I will put more of this up later on. Right now, that's all. Greg Malone, have a guys' night.